Another member of the president's cabinet finds himself under scrutiny for his travel habits. Former Montana Congressman, now Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke, under investigation for trips he took on the taxpayer's dime. Trips that some believe may have broken the law. Renee Marsh reports. Ethics hawks are zeroing in on Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke's travel and whether he violated a federal law intended to insulate federal employees from political influence. Oh, it's great to be here. One trip to Las Vegas caught the attention of the Office of Special Counsel. Zinke met with the Vegas Golden Knights NHL team, which is owned by a billionaire former donor to Zinke's congressional campaign. The special counsel's probe is trying to determine whether the visit violated the Hatch Act, which prohibits federal employees from engaging in certain political activities. If everywhere he's going or many of the places he's going are being um, used for, for political purposes in addition to his official work, it starts to look like he's planning his job around politics. And that's not what you want your cabinet secretaries to be doing. But CNN has learned there are more trips that are raising questions. March 30th, just weeks after being sworn in, Zinke flew to U.S. Virgin Islands. While he did a series of official meetings on an island that falls within his purview, he capped the day giving brief remarks at a GOP dinner where guests paid up to $5,000 a ticket. On May 12th, Zinke was in his home state for official business, meeting with tribal leaders and energy producers and a horseback tour of a mine with Vice President Pence. But later that evening, he attended a rally for then congressional candidate Greg Gianforte. We don't yet know uh, who's paying, who paid for each of these trips and how much, uh, and we don't yet know exactly um, what he said and whether he was in his official capacity. So we can't say there was a legal problem, but there certainly could be one. It's not just political activities that are raising concerns. Some are questioning whether official business was scheduled in a way that would allow him to visit his home regularly. Of six trips Zinke made to his home state using taxpayer dollars, his schedule allowed him to travel to his house in Montana at least three times. An interior official said any suggestion there's anything wrong with that is ridiculous, noting the state has many Department of Interior lands, offices, and assets. Officials in the Interior Department say its ethics office signed off on all of this. But that's not convincing some lawmakers on Capitol Hill or ethics watchdogs. Now, according to records, over a seven-year period, just over $971,000 were spent by the two interior secretaries in the Obama administration. 